Hey guys, uh, Art here. I just received my package of uh, tubes that I bought on eBay. These are uh, apparently NOS XF2 XF2s, the uh, molders. Um, I bought six of them. I think I got, I'm sorry, there are eight of them. Um, I paid like $605 for them. And uh, I got them today. And uh, before I opened the package, uh, the guy who posted them on eBay had pictures of uh, of the two tubes in the box. Actually, they were out of the box, but there were two tubes. And every every uh, lot, I guess, of every pair that he had had the same picture. And I didn't realize it afterwards until I noticed that every picture there was like four pictures. And they were the identical picture of the first one, if you will. So I just started to believe that maybe they're not NOS or, or, uh, or uh, maybe the first pair are NOS. But anyways, here's the package I got it today, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and move the camera back a little bit to get a better angle. That should be good. I'm gonna open it, and you guys are gonna be my first wit witness of. Uh, Checking these tubes out. I think they're the tubes that I ordered. I'm not sure. I buy so much stuff on eBay. It might be something else. That would be funny. Anyways, here's the guy shops at Walmart. <laughs> Cool. Here's four of them. See them right here. Oh yeah, they look NOS for sure. Check it out. GE's NOS, right? So here's four. I'm gonna get the four out real quick and see what they look like. Cool. So we're going to open them up and examine what they look like. Make sure they're, they are the correct tubes that I ordered. Alright, took some extra caution. Make sure they didn't break. And here we go. Nice. XF2s. I don't know if you could see that. Right there somewhere. It says XF2s. Get a better... Um, focus on there. Anyways, here's one of them. It looks real good. Like an excellent getter chemical. Brand new. No signs of uh, heat damage or, or wear. So very nice. Uh, I guess that's the OEMs. They heat test them at. I'm going to test them with GM right now on my uh, tube tester. So anyways, here's tube number one. I'm going to set it down here. Tube number two, nice box, brand new. It's like they were in a time capsule. Oh, we put extra ones on here. All right, I'm gonna set this down. Here's tube number two. Wow, brand new molars. Beautiful XF twos. To be honest with you, my favorite molar. Is the XF2 um, the brown base? This is the black base. Um, I've noticed that the molar that has the brown base, dark brown, um, when the getter chemical starts to wear, it's an indication that the tube has been used or there's a lot of heat damage back here. And it could easily be identified when you have the brown base, but that's not one reason why I like the brown base one. The big reason is that even though the tube will look beat up and and the getter chemical up to the top and brownish looking black, you test them and they still test like brand new almost. And uh, I had a few of those. I still have some, but I've had great experience with those and uh, very little experience with the black ones. But the RXF2s, 
and I'm actually excited that uh, I got these. Here's the box number three. Beautiful. You look, I'm telling you, the box looks brand new, like never opened before. So whoever had them had them somewhere in their closet or, or in an attic in a box or something because these are like brand new. Here's tube number three. Wow. Brand new. Look at the Gitter chemical on it. Check that out. Made in Great Britain right there if you see that. And then here, XF2. Do you see that? A little pin in the bottom. Oh, the whole pin, I'm sorry. That looks great. Beautiful. Beautiful tube. Alright, that was number... That was number three. I know it's taking long, sorry. Here's the... Uh, here's the... Tube number four. Brand new box. GE. Sorry. There we go. I mean, there's no doubt in my mind, in my mind, excuse me, that these tubes are brand new. XF2. I mean, you look at them, and they look brand new, no signs of wear, the pinhole in the bottom telling you that it is a molar, you know, a real molar. That's one indication. But, beautiful. Beautiful tube. Made in Great Britain. Alright, that was the first four. So... And the guy did a good job. He did a good job uh, packaging uh, the tube. I mean, just by placing this in the box, he helps from the movement inside the box. And, you know, these tubes are like from 1970 or 1969. And, uh, I mean, they're very sensitive, too. So by just adding that, I could tell the guy, the seller is an actual pro and understands what's going on with the tubes. And plus, I paid $605. Trust me, he doesn't want me to return the tubes back. <laughs> so anyways, here we go again. Oh, sorry, some glare there. XFT, oh, sorry. Backwards, yeah, that's actually correct. So I'm gonna get it out. Excellent looking tube. You know, there's tubes, there's sellers out there that sell the molar tubes. Well, they claim to be molar tubes, but they're really not. And one big indication is that the top here, the Gitter Chemicals at, I'm sorry if I could focus on to that, but hold on, let me see if I could do that a little bit better. The tube here, the, the glass part is seamed together, right here, and those are made in Japan. So the, 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 the glass part here, envelope, is seamed together. Uh, that's one indication that it's not a real molar. Then also, the plates here, they have like this little groove, like another, not a seam, but a pressed groove here, going this way, all the way around 360. Uh, it's pushed in, but from the inside out. So it looks like a little hump, but it's a line going all the way across like this, right? And they'll say, They'll say Great Britain, but they're really not. And those would not have the pinhole, and some of them do. But if you tr if you look on eBay and you find one that says Great Britain, and the guy wants like a hundred, some of them are exaggerating. Uh, they have this this indent here on the plates, two of them, one on the bottom, one on the top, and then you have the seamed glass here. They're not real molars, okay? even though they might say Great Britain, but they're not. They're they're uh, made in Japan. And I hear those sound pretty good. I have some. I haven't tried them yet. But uh, I, I know there was this guy selling for them for $500. And I kept on telling him that they weren't real. And he had them on for like six months on eBay uh, trying to sell them. And I think maybe he finally sold them or finally realized that they weren't real real uh, molars. But anyways, here's, uh, here's tube number five. I think it's number five, yeah. And here, here, we, got, here we go where it says, you see the... The XF2 markings on there. I hope that's not too close. Let me get it right here. XF2. Sweet. 
All right. Here's the other molar box. Too much, too much shine here. Wonder if I turn off this light, it'll be better. No, nope, too dark. Sorry. So, anyways, let me see if I zoom in. Oh, sorry, guys. Anyways, beautiful box. Great looking. More protection here. Here we go again. Wow. Brand spanking new. Molar. Made in Great Britain. See that? XF2. I'm not sure if you could really see that. But anyways. Pin on the bottom. Wow. I think I did a good job. I'm glad I was able to buy them. Again. All right, see that? Uh, sorry, I don't know if you can see that that well. And the only reason why I'm docking, documenting them is because uh, some guys swear that uh, when they're not real mullards, and I, I, I start a dispute with them on eBay, they claim that the 2 by send back to them is not the same one they sold me. So this is one big reason why I'm doing it. Plus... It's good to know for other buyers out there what they're actually buying because uh, I mean, there's a lot of scammers on eBay, but there's no doubt in my mind right now that these tubes are, are real Mullards, XF2s, and NOS. And we'll go over what uh, NOS stands for a little bit later on, but I just wanted to document these uh, motor EL34s, 60A7s. So that's number um, seven. Here's number eight, very last one. Let's see if I get a little, little. Sh there we go. Something like I'm trying to get a little. Uh, get rid of the shadow or the glaze, but anyways, XF2 tube, beautiful box. Check that out. Incredible. Incredible looking tube. I'm gonna remove this box here real quick. Kind of screwing up the screwing up the the image, my focus actually. So I put this on there. Do we see that? I hope this looks good. Cause I don't want to do this video again. Anyways, XF2. Can you see that? I don't know if you can. XF2. Brand spanking new. And here's the pinhole. Anyways, I'm going to set them down here. I don't know if you could see that, but I could focus down a little bit more downward. Something like that. I'm just going to set them here. Like I said, there are eight of them. And some guys want like a thousand, fifteen hundred bucks for these. And to be honest with you, I mean, honestly, I think 600 bucks is a lot of money for eight tubes. But uh, I really like the way they sound, and I have a bunch of Marshall amplifiers. Oops, sorry. Just one back here, sorry. I almost forgot how many I had. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Beautiful. So here they are. Uh, and I'm going to get ready to test them now on a maxi matcher. I'm going to test uh, the plate current which is the IP and then I'm going to test the the GM anything over 5,000 is considered a good tube if it's under 5,000 it's considered used or even 5,000 is considered used but a NOS tube like truly NOS will read approximately 6,000 
And also, it would vary based on the base here, to be honest with you. Some, some brown base uh, tubes test real high, like 6,000. I've seen some black ones test 6,000. So there, there was actual, uh, there was actual um, inconsistency, if you will, with these tubes uh, as far as uh, how, how strong they were out of the factory. But they were still made with quality. So regardless of what inconsistency consistency they had, they were still the best tubes out there. And they still are. So anyways, uh, here's my maxi matcher. I'm going to go ahead and see if I get the camera closer. So I'm going to pause it for a second. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, remove these Tesla tubes that I bought from a guy the other day. This is an old tube that I had from Tesla. And I'm going to bring it up closer. See the base, how it looks used? See, but this tube tests brand new. You know what I mean? So there's a little ripple on the top. So anyways, I'm going to remove these and put them right here. And these are the new ones I just bought two of them. I think they're like 70 bucks or $76. Here they are, brand new Tesla. These sound great. I actually do like them a lot. So um, I'm going to see if I can get this camera a little closer. I'm going to remove the boxes. I'm going to set the boxes here. Okay, so I'm going to pause it. And then this will be part number two, the test, okay?